And if you guys, uh, you, I see none of y'all have a beer in your hand. You want to go ahead and grab a hopscotch from off the line? And, yeah, let's grab one. But yeah, so let's, let's start brewing. So this is our brew house behind us. Yep. Our brew house consists of all five of these stainless steel vessels, as well as that control room up top. So the brewers have computers up there that automate our whole brewing process that helps us eliminate a lot of aspects of human error that might occur if we were just trying to add ingredients by hand. Yep. It's pretty hard to time out exactly how much malt or hops you just dump into a big vat like this. Yep. So those computers are gonna streamline that whole process and make sure that the malt and hops we're using get added to the brew at very specific times, kind of making sure it's consistent. We don't want two different tasting hop executioners that are out there on the market. And if our hops are added at just a little bit early, a little bit too early, a little bit too late, that can mess up the whole, you know, the bitterness to aromatic profile of the beer. And so we're gonna load these guys with different hop varieties for the hop executioner. And then that recipe that we plugged into the computer up top is gonna open and close the valves on the back automatically yeah. and let wort flow through the hops at a specified time. So th again, that's really important for us consistency-wise. So with six different hot varieties. Six different hot. So again, we use Cascade, Centennial, Chinook, Simcoe, Amarillo, and Warrior. Um, and so war again, a hop like Warrior, much more for a bittering component. It's not going to have so much of the aromatic kind of piney, citrusy thing that you find in this beer. Um, but that's where some of those other hops can kind of step in and take their place. The Cascade, pretty well known for its aromatic qualities. Um, same thing with Simcoe, Amarillo as well. Um, all those hops are going to kind of blend together and kind of create this piney, resinous profile that little little citrus note come out over the top of it, yeah. but oh, yeah. overall just a very well-balanced IPA. And for something that was meant to blow your hop head off, I think it's pretty accessible to the average IPA yeah. drink. We make roughly on a year anywhere from 20, 25 years thereabouts. Um, sometimes pushing 30 if we have a, a big specialty lineup scheduled. Um, so like right now on tap, we have 16 different beers just in our tap room. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we'll have, we'll carry a lot of these brands throughout the year. Um, and Hopsecutioner is kind of the king of our yeah. brands.